Good morning, dear student. So today we will discuss the chapter Sunam Wangsu, page number one hundred and fifty-four, from paragraph number three. Ice stupas are built during winter, so that the water from them, when they start melting, can be used in late spring. So here it is saying that the ice stupas are built because there is scarcity of water and this ice can be stored and when they are started melting till the late spring. We take a pipe up slope put it in the stream or the lake, bury it six feet under the ground and the pipe takes water down slope to the fillets. So here they have explained that they put a pipe almost six feet to down slope so that water from the upside comes to the fillets. Because of the gravity, pressure builds up in the pipe and water comes out gushing. He explained. So Sunam Wangsuk here explained that when the gravity and the pressure build up the pipe, the water comes out from upside to down slope. This sprinkling water is 20 degrees Celsius, falls down and freeze. So this water has 20 degrees Celsius and comes to the downstream as freeze. Over weeks, it becomes a huge mountain of ice. So slowly and steadily it becomes a huge mountain of ice. The idea is to freeze the water in the winter and use it in late spring. So this is the idea they have made it that if the water will freeze in the winter it can be used in the late spring. The conical tower shape ensured that the surface exposed to the sun is minimal, so premature melting is avoided. So as the place is too cold, the sunshine cannot make it totally melting. It has a premature melting which is avoided. It is for this simple yet genius invention that Wang Suk was bestowed with the Rolex Award for Enterprise. So for this invention, Sunam Wang Suk awarded the Rolex Award for Enterprise. He now plans to use the prize money as the seed fund for his dream project, the Himalaya Institute of Alternatives. So now, after successful of this ice to pass making, Sunam Wangsu dreamed a project which is the Himalaya Institute of Alternatives. The institute aims to create a sustainable ecosystem of constant innovation wherein the youth from different Himalaya countries will come together to research the issues faced by mountain people in the field of education, culture, and environment. 
so here it is saying that by this project the sustainable e ecosystem constant innovation will be start where the youth from different Himalayas countries they will come together they will do the research they will solve the problem of the issues which faced by the mountain people in the field of education culture and the environment the participants will also formulate ways to solve those issues through out of the box ideas and practical application of knowledge the student those who will participate in this formula they will try to solve the issue through the out of the box ideas they will do the practical application based knowledge the world needs real world universities they want a university which is built being real duo universities the universities whose will be do the action we are going to set up one model of it in Ladakh they say that they will set up one model of it in Ladakh that means this Himalaya project and if it is successful we hope it will have a ripple effect from New Delhi to New York so here Sunam Wangso said that if this project will success there will be a big famous their name and fame will start from New Delhi to New York once you enthusiastically sign off so here the story of this brave engineer Sunam Wangsu finished his story with enthusiastically thank you dear student please watch the video if you have any problem any doubt you will ask thank you